Hi, dear friends, Annie here, and thank you again for joining me today. And I want to talk about something that's very dear to me and has been for many years, and those of you that know me won't be surprised. It's about health. And some of you will know I used to be a PE teacher, so health has always been, and fitness, always been really important to me. I used to run up mountains, down mountains, squash, badminton, sailing, canoeing, you know, I did all manner of things to stay fit. And then I remember going to my very first yoga class. And my, I felt completely relaxed in a way I had never felt before. And from the first class, I wanted to know more. What had made me feel so peaceful? And so I started to explore this whole science of health and discovered this five Koshik model, which made me understand that health and fitness are on more levels than just what I was familiar, which is your Anamaya Kosha. I knew what it meant to be physically fit, this Anamaya aspect of it. Then there was the pranamaya. So suddenly I was exploring a whole world of prana, the power of the breath. Also, I was looking at what prana was in my food. How was I harnessing the elements, the, the pranic from, from, the, from the elements, from earth, water, fire, air, and ether? I was looking at the power of breath and how it could immediately change how I felt. Then you had the manamaya kosha, and this was an amazing revelation that I could choose the way I responded or reacted to situations I found myself in, whether I was happy or sad, feeling overwhelmed or angry, whatever emotions were, I could be an observer and change my state. Then your Vijnana Maya Kosha. Yes, so I started studying, I started learning and discovering more, not just about being a school teacher, which is what I was, but learning about myself and how I influence my world first and foremost, and consequently the effect it has on the world around me. And I guess it was no longer putting just one finger pointing at someone else's fault. I was realizing there were three fingers pointing in at me. And I guess learning to look at my place in what was happening in my world and how I was influencing it. And then the Ananda Maya Kosha that place of stillness, and that was very new to me. But I discovered that from that experience of meditation and prayer and nourishing a faith and a, a, a love of this divine essence in all things, I was finding a sense of perspective on my world and a greater sense of purpose. So I guess what I'm saying there is that I discovered that fitness was more about discovering the fullness of this who I am as an individual and keeping all those different koshas fit and healthy, not just the one. And then as some of you know, I then went on to look at Ayurveda and that kind of made me understand me a little bit more. Ayurveda is the knowledge of, the, of yourself and how you influence your world and how it's influencing you. And I guess in understanding me, it stopped me being a little less judgmental and critical, first of all, on myself and helped me to be more compassionate to me and to my world because I was learning to work with who I am. And I guess it also put all my yoga and my meditation and my love of nutrition into a greater perspective because I was able to hone it to who I am as an individual and that not one size fits all type of thing. It's a fantastic science. Uh, on that note, I still want to remind you, once again, we have the three free day event at the end of October, this three day immersion into Ayurveda. We want to invite you all to be part of, to get completely nourished and energized. And then I wanted to finally share a technique that I've put in the newsletter, and that's the one called Based on Introspection. I thought I'd embellish that a little bit more uh, because it's a practice I've used, I continue to use every day. And so what do you do? Well, at the end of the day, just sit just before you go to sleep and scan your day from the start to where you're sitting. And just, first of all, applaud the magic moments of that day and thank the universe. And then if there's been any moments in it you feel need a little bit of reshaping, 
that you weren't quite so happy with, then put them on, uh, replay them on like a little screen outside of you so you create an objective so you're not caught in the emotion. Replay the event as you'd like to see it. And what that starts to do, it starts influencing your psyche as you sleep. You're kind of reprogramming yourself to respond to situations in a different way. It's a fantastic system. So I wanted to leave that with you as a specific practice. And of course, I've given you um, a few of the videos of people I enjoy listening to. Vasant Ladd is talking about the effect of the autumn honours. Particularly, it's a Vata season. He's got some great practices and a great talk by Dan Brutner looking at longevity, which is what my newsletter is all about, and the secret of the centenarians. And I guess to, to complete, I wanted to say, if all else fails, look at the cat. And just remember to put those moments of relaxation into your day on a regular basis. Keep that sense of calm so that you're ready for any eventuality. So on that note, from me and the cat, we send you lots of love. <laughs>